Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Wednesday morning, May 31st. We are looking at Window Traders Market Profile of the ES and SPY. Last day of the trading month. Right now, bears are trying to take out yesterday's low, as you can see. If they're able to accomplish that, they'll put the daily back into balance, right? It would initially be a three-day balance if they're able to do that. Uh, on the NQ, also trying to do it, okay? Put it into an initial three-day balance. Again, like we've talked about this. There's nothing wrong with that. That's healthy for the market in the bigger picture to pull back, shake out some weak longs, trade sideways for a little while, and then attempt to come out back to the bull side, right? Righty, same thing. Um, although righty, for the most part, to me, was still in balance on the daily. They tried. They tried to um, go bull on the daily. They never even filled the gap, I don't think from the 24th, so now they would be coming back into, well, basically they're still in a, uh, this would be the start of a five-day balance, okay, and the 25th low is the bottom of that balance. They've had a lot of B-shapes lately, but don't forget they did have a trend day yesterday. Now, once again, gaps have not held this year, right? They've only held about 20-something percent of the time on both upside and downside gaps, but we've had, certainly have had enough of them, just under 50 percent of the year which is amazing, five months into this year that we've, uh, we've gapped either higher or lower. So again, there's still uh, 75, 80 minutes to go prior to the opening. Does the gap get bigger? Does it hold? We have the trend day, don't forget, from Friday, right? We never got into it yesterday. We'll see if we're going to take it back. If a trend day is to be taken back, it's usually late in the second day or the third day. Well, this is day three, right? The trend day was Friday. Monday, Tuesday. We'll see if we take it back. And don't forget, we did have a lowest accepted price also on that day. Um, as, far, as far as a game plan, depending on the size of the gap, if it's not that large a gap or so, you could take a short against it. Again, if it fills, I'm not looking initially to get out of that short for a couple of reasons. We'd still have lower value. We do have a 13 wide overnight POC right now, it looks like, although I'm in twos up at the 4205 level around there. The key to watch out for is value low. If they fill the gap, the, bu the bulls, and get back into value, well, then guess what? You're going to go trade up at our nine wide POC or 10 wide POC, whatever it was, and test the overnight high. That's why the overnight low to me will be critical this morning. We only take out both sides of the overnights under 20% of the time. So if bears are able to get the overnight low right away, I'd feel a lot more comfortable looking for shorts on pushes up, especially against value low, okay? As far as a long, I guess the first time possibly against the single print fill, and then you could use the lowest accepted prices you're out if you are to get below it. Again, two early plays. And then just quickly on the chart. So for the bulls, if they close above in SPY 415.94, which they're two and a half dollars above right now, they could have an outside month up. That'd be pretty bullish. I would still be calling the monthly balance until we take out May's high. The weekly is firmly up right now, okay? And the daily is about to come into a three-day balance if we take out yesterday's low. Thanks for the likes and subscribing. Come check us out at camelbacktrading.org. Have a great day trading, and we'll recap at 4 p.m.